What's going on guys and welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, I'm going to teach you how to play Marvel Rivals on PC using your PS5 controller. Let's get right into the video. So first, make sure that you sign out of Epic Games and that you have Epic Games closed. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is to, like I said, make sure you sign out of Epic Games and that you close it. So I've already signed out. I'm just going to close it. Make sure you don't have it open. Check if you have it open here. If not, then you're good. So next thing we need to do is to add Epic Games Launcher to our Steam library. So the way you do that is um, like this. So I have Steam open right here. Click over here to add a game. Add a non-Steam game. Go ahead and look for Epic Games. Uh, it's right here, but if you can't find it here, what you can do is click Browse. And go ahead and look for it wherever you have it downloaded on your computer. Um, if you can't find it, what you can do is you can search for it here at the bottom left. Epic Games. And then you can right click Epic Games here. Open File Location. And as you can see, it's here. So what we need to do is to uh, click over here. And we're going to copy this link. So right click, copy. You can close this. And then go back to here. I'm actually already here, but I'm just doing this to show you. So click over here delete this right click paste and then press enter i was already here but like i said i was just showing you how to do it and then go ahead and uh, click on epic games launcher and open and then now you can see there's a check mark on epic games launcher now just click add selected programs and now you can see epic games launcher is in our steam library all right, so the next thing that you need to do is to connect your PS5 controller to your PC. Now you can either do that by using a cable and plugging it in, or you can do it wirelessly with Bluetooth. But first, let me show you how to do it with the cable. So it's pretty simple. You just plug it in just like this, and then you can just follow the next couple of steps that I'm going to show you. But if you use a cable, you might run into a problem where you're not hearing any sound. So if that happens, you can just click here to the sound icon. Uh, you can click here and switch this to your headphones or speakers or whatever you're using. For me, I'm going to change it to this one because I know this is my headphones. And then try to adjust the sound. And uh, there you go, it works. But if you want to do it with Bluetooth, let me show you how to do that. So let's unplug this for now. So for Bluetooth, what you're going to need to do is press and hold the home button and the share button at the same time until the controller starts blinking. So now as you can see, it's blinking. What you need to do is click over here to the search bar, search for Bluetooth and open up Bluetooth and other devices settings. Add Bluetooth or other device, Bluetooth and wireless controller should show up here. So let's go ahead and click this. And there you go, it says your device is ready to go. So let's click done. All right, so the next step is to open up big picture mode on Steam. So how you do that is click over here, enter big picture mode. And then now you can see, uh, you can use your controller from here on. So let's go ahead and search for, go to the top and search for Epic Games Launcher. And as you can see, it's right here, the very first one. And let's go ahead and open it up. And then you can go ahead and sign in with your email and password. You can use your keyboard for this, by the way. So now we've opened up Epic Games Launcher through Steam Big Picture Mode. So let's just go ahead and open whichever game you want. In this case, it's Marvel Rivals. So let's go ahead and launch this. All right, so now, as you can see, we have the game open. And uh, right here, as you can see, I can use my controller now. And let's go ahead and play. And let's just go to practice range. And as you can see now, I can use my controller to play. And that's pretty much it. That's really all you have to do. It's pretty easy. All right, so once you're done using the PS5 controller, and you want to disconnect it um, it's pretty easy so again click over here 
search for Bluetooth and go to Bluetooth and other devices settings, the same one as before. And um, as you can see here, wireless controller, it says connected. So just click this and remove device. Yes. And that's it. It's easy as that. All right, and that is it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this video helped you guys out. And if it did, make sure to give this video a like, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out a lot. If you wanna keep up with me on my socials, I'll put them on the screen and leave links to them in the description below. And if you wanna join my Discord server, I'll put a link to it in the description as well. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later. Thank you.